Hi, I'm Sophie Giuliano and welcome to the Gorgeous for Good Cookery School. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite ever granolas. This is a crunchy millet granola. So this is what you're going to need. We have two cups of rolled oats, one cup of millet, one cup of coconut chips, one cup of sliced almonds, half a cup of sunflower seeds, half a cup of unsweetened shredded coconut, half a cup of pepitos, three fourths of a cup of raw coconut oil, half a cup of maple syrup, half a teaspoon of brown cinnamon, and quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. So that's it for the ingredients. Now, what I have done is I have pre-melted the coconut oil and the maple syrup just so that it liquefies. Now, I'm just gonna move all my ingredients aside. And again, this is just a wonderfully easy recipe because it's what I call a dump recipe where you just dump everything in the bowl. So I have a mixing bowl here and as I said, I'm just gonna dump in my ingredients. Now the millet, I wanna say this is a grain that I absolutely love. It's a fine, very, very crunchy grain and why I like it is because it is so high in protein, much like quinoa, and it also has a lot of alkalizing minerals and vitamins in it. It's such a healthy grain. You can find that online or at your local health food store. So let's throw all this in here. Love almonds, sliced almonds give it that crunch. Coconut chips, just smelling those. I just like snacking on those all the time. Seeds are always a great thing. And to put in our salt. When you use salt, make sure it's proper sea salt. Himalayan sea salt is a really good way to go. I've got my cinnamon here. I'm simply gonna mix all that up really well. Make sure all the ingredients are very well coated. And then comes the fun part. I'm going to add my liquefied maple syrup, yum. And make sure you use real maple syrup, by the way, because there's a lot of fake make maple syrup, that syrup that's flavored and it's really not very good for you. It has a lot of very unhealthy ingredients in it. We don't want that. And the maple syrup is a good sugar. It doesn't really, the amount we're using will not raise your glycemic levels. It's super duper healthy. And it just gives it that little sweetness that you and your whole family are gonna love. Now the parchment paper lined baking sheet right here. And I have, by the way, preheated my oven to 300 degrees. It's a very low heat for this recipe. Um, and I will just, I'm going to spread this on here. Now it's a low heat because I want this to cook for about 40 minutes on a low heat. And the reason why is because you don't want to burn it, but you want that millet to cook and everything to really crisp up. So you're going to cook it for 40 minutes until it's nice and brown. And the one thing that I do want you to do with this recipe is every 10 or 15 minutes, just turn it over with a spoon so that the color and the browning is even throughout. All right, oh, hello, disappearing down here. Now I have a finished version right here, which is, as you can see here, is nicely browned, everything evenly browned and super crunchy. And finally, I am going to plate this up for you in the way that I enjoy eating it. And you can just pop some in a bag and use it as a snack throughout the day as well. But I like to put mine in a little bowl. And here's the thing, I love to use so delicious coconut milk. It's the unsweetened coconut milk. And this just pops this entire recipe up to the next level. It is absolutely delicious. In fact, just looking at it now, I just can't wait to tuck in. And then I just add a few berries on top, not absolutely necessary, but does really make it delicious. And that's it, the most delicious, crunchy, healthy millet granola. 